Another fight. It's like random encounters. Elven warriors burst from the forest, menacing cry on their lips, faces striped with war paint, eyes burning with hatred. Meave stood at the front, cross weapons with one of these fierce partisans. They stood locked face to face, their breathing labored from the great effort. Who would prevail? And whose life would be extinguished in the shade of these ancient trees? Another shortened battle. Nope. Nope. Definitely not. There she is. Get rid of our Grey Rider. Get rid of this. Want one of him. We're probably, we're gonna pull Ike anyway. Turn. I should just rather get her out early. Survive. Let's damage them both by four. We're gonna use her to pull out our homie. Noise. We're gonna use her to pull out one of these guys. Light this up. I smell a leak. Use her again. Pull out a trap. Come join us. Oh my god, I drop it and I deal two damage? Oh, so good. And then we're gonna use this. Pull back. Our homie. Oh my god, we're getting this deck going now. Might as well go again. We have three more pulls. So one. A second pull. I'm just gonna put more traps in here. <laughs> this is crazy. Second pull. Wait, hold on. Do I have just three more pulls, right? I have one pull. 
put him out. Two pull, three pulls. Yes. I have three more pulls. So it'll be one, two, and then one of these. So let's put out Gascon. Quick and painful, this will be. That boosts him. Getting this going early. What does this do? <laughs> Duel the lowest enemy. If destroyed, double this unit's current power and refresh the order ability. Oof. Put this on her. Oh, the, not necessarily her. <laughs> and well, I guess I should have played Reynard. That's what I should have done. What is this? <laughs> this thing's an this thing's annoying. I gotta kill that. Discipline shall bring us victory. Put him out. I fear not, for faith guides me. Destroy highest ally and pay two from the graveyard. After a different ally is played from hand, remove to the other row. Move next to it and boost by one. Kind of would make more sense to play that now, being that I have another one, two, three, four, five plays. Keep him going. It will just boost him up tremendously, being that I don't have. It's like I have two of these already. I'm gonna play one of those. I guess it'll move them around for the damage. Yeah, you know what? I am going to play one of those. Because I can just move my own guys with it, too. So move, move. And we'll move. Nice. The fire. I can also boost those cards too, so that's going to be exciting. No ability, two copies, no ability. Well, they're all dead. One, two, three. Ah, oh, this thing is so annoying. Yeah, yeah. That on here. 
try to play my lowest unit to not worry about that. Oh, that was nice. I got boosted each time. Hitched out where I kill them. Get more damage in there. Oh my god. Have strength, my love. Hmm. Ouch, that hurt. The chase is on. This is Elven Land, Dwan, upon which your kind dies. about slings, they hide well. Okay, that's it. Roasted another fight. Probably just pass earlier. Translated from Elder Speech. Elian, my dear daughter, I beg you, please return home. Only death awaits you in the company of the Scotiel. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to your mother. Losing your brother in the pogrom was already too much to bear. In the name of all that is sacred, in the memory of our ancestors, leave this forest while you can. Okian. Leave this forest while you can. What's this? Another pitfall. Um, shall we bridge it or find another path? We have engineers set to work immediately. Let's do it. I think we needed to go over that one. Did we? No, we didn't. We could have just went around. I shouldn't waste that wood again if I don't have to. Or didn't I say I wanted to just build more pitfalls? Let's take out a Grey Rider. Where are, where are our pitfalls? Oh, there they are on the bottom. Oops. I mean, even our slingers would be good. Three pitfalls. There we go. Just keep the cards we want. I can really just get out of the get this out of here. I'm, it's, it hasn't. I never want to play that card. Every time it's in my opening hand, I'm just like, 
not excited about it. We can have a trinket. Do I love any of them? Can I build a trinket? Dark Mirror. It's another one I don't. I haven't really been playing. Force two units to duel. What does dueling actually do? Units take turns dealing damage to <laughs> dealing damage equal to their power until one of them is destroyed. And that'll be good for like my my big units like Ike and stuff, maybe. Damage a unit by one, uses ability eight times. Moved whenever an ally takes damage. What is this guy? Where's our war wagon or whatever? Arbalus wouldn't be a bad thing either. Destroys unit to the right and boosts self by power if it's an artifact boosts self by current power instead. Damage all units on an enemy row by this unit's armor amount, and then lose all armor and gain one armor whenever card appears on this row. That would be another dope ass card to play with Gascon and just keep moving my things around with the riders and stuff. Clear all row effects from your side after three turns. Draw the top card of your deck. Top blitz card. What do I have in terms of blitz? This is a blitz. That's that's a blitz. Wouldn't be the worst card to throw in there. The way I've been using Raynard and stuff. I can't build these cards. Boost the unit by 10. Did that help us? I kind of just want to kill stuff, right? I mean,. Keeping them off the map is what helps us the most. Huh? Oh. <laughs> can't target bosses. It would be good for us. With Ike. So when Ike pops out, Ike's usually like super powerful. Nickers is just a free seven points. I'll throw this instead of building another card. Let's see what we come what comes our way.
at this wood first. Makes up for the 50 that we just spent, I guess. Good, some more. The hell was that? What the hell? There's really nothing up there. Odd. All right, let's go see what that cave is. Maybe Ike will help us clear it out. Meave was discussing some matter with Gascon when a scout approached. His blood-streaked uniform revealed the matter to be urgent, so the queen cut short her conversation and requested a report. We were scouting, milady, and we found a cave entrance. Small scattering of elves guarding it, but we took them right out. Hmm. Gascon scratched his chin. I'd wager ten Novograd crowns there are more Skyatel squirreled away inside. We strike before they know we've snuffed out their guards. We might well catch them by surprise. But we must act quickly. Okay. Let's do it. Then let us act. Gather some men and prepare them for an attack. But keep quiet. The Lyrians crept into the cave. They moved carefully, noiselessly even, avoiding notice for quite a while. Nevertheless, elven warriors soon came pouring out of a side cavern. Uh-oh. So Skotel warriors typically employ stratagems of cunning such as weaving their paths to lead pursuers astray. Yet not this time. Their partisans hit me's force with all they could muster, as though striving at all costs to force her from the cave. The elves, now tactic, worked against them, however. Their fierce restraint of resistance only further aroused Meave's curiosity, telling her to discover what they had hidden in the mysterious caverns. Okay, well, we have her in our opening hand. We don't need him. We want that. I would love two of those. Well, this is not as important. Ah, there it is. I'll get rid of this then, too, because this is a card I care less about. Okay, so we'll f use... This to forage for our guy. We have the two fires to start. We have our traps. I mean, I couldn't be happier. Uh-oh. The only downside is that this is a two-match game. So we might have to hold out some tactics for later. So, knowing that... We'll save Ike, we'll save all that those crazy combos for later. We will...
will start with the burns. See what they do. I smell a leak. One Play one a unit from your graveyard and have their power. Why did they already have something in their graveyard? Let's talk about that. You mad? Don't shake that. How was that? Boom a little day. We ought to help. Oh my the god, these healers. Boom a little day. Is this real life? They're not backing down. Must be something of value to them here. Nine, eight, seven. I'm going to move one, two, and three. Damage all of them by four. If that pitfall trap was out. Ugh. The healers, they would have been almost dead. Now they're gonna all heal each other. It was a waste. This is Elven Land, Dwarf, upon which your kind dies. They just heal each other to max? This is ridiculous. The fact that they just like never run out of these stupid cooldowns is retarded. How am I going to beat this fight? Two in a row? Ugh. I'm going to run out of steam here. I don't really see me killing anything. How am I going to get the advantage? Do I start this whole chaos? I'm going to have to do this two turns in a row. It's just not going to happen. It's a great question, Squirrel. I don't really know. Quiet day. At least I have a pitfall. Man, if I would have just played that pitfall earlier, they would have all been damaged. Dude, they're just, they're impossible. They're just gonna heal each other up again. It passed. Huh. You pass, eh?
And move three into the pitfall trap. I mean, I got, I gotta get them. I gotta, I gotta hurt them. Technically, I could have put another pitfall out first before I did that. I don't want to do this. Oh, we won it. Woo! We just won it. The fly, the fire. Woo! Woo! That was Ruck. No, no, no. I'll, I'll hold up. I like what I got. I mean, you're here, squirrel. That's what matters. <laughs> Alright, so let's get these pitfalls out. Do I want to put all the pitfalls on one? And just keep moving them into both? No, I feel like that's crazy talk. I just want to get more pitfalls. What? When? Today? Oh my god. Where is she going? That that blows my mind. I'm actually... I'm shocked. Why? What? Does she have a reason? Is she moving on somewhere else? I'm uh, honestly, I'm utterly shocked. She no fall and no showed on Sunday, so she must have another job. Where? Who the heck knows? So, duel the lowest enemy. If it was destroyed, double this unit's current power. She could technically pull something out and heal that dang thing. <laughs> she was upset that you told her no Nintendo will work. No hang out in the kitchen with friends on days off, and I was cutting her hours. Yeah, well, that sucks, but I'm sorry. I'm, I mean, it sucks to hear. I mean, I that we lost someone. It's just funny that, like, the no Nintendo thing. It's like, what? I can't play Nintendo at work? I quit. No, I wonder what the real deal was, but it makes me sad. Yeah, which, I mean, it is. Every job should be treated like a real job. It's a, it's a job. <sighs> Makes me sad, though. Especially, like, I'm surprised she let you know. No, showed. That sucks. It's like a really frustrating way to deal with the shift. Is to not have anyone operating the, the freaking kitchen. Was it a day shift? That sucks. I'm surprised she even handed in a letter of resignation then. She was just no showing. Does doubles on Sundays. Wow, that, that's a burn. I actually, I, I thought she'd be around for a really long time. 
I really did. I wonder where she's working. I wonder where she's working that she's able to do the things that she wants to do that she wasn't able to do where we were, you know? Hopefully that survives. If I could just keep her alive, we're good. Lock an enemy. I don't even really know what that does. So we're bringing out homie. My pain serves a purpose. Using her now. I guess we'll start moving things around, right? Ever have a storm knock out one of your teeth? They don't have to use this now. Theory. But I could. Bring him out. <laughs> Wait, you're serious. Well, I still have more stuff I could do. Bring that guy back. She never keeps Death other jobs. Yeah, she's left. She she left before. Well, she didn't leave before, but she's worked at the taco other? place and stuff. I think she that she'll regret leaving. I I agree with that. I'm I mean I'm gonna miss her too, so maybe she'll just even regret leaving just for not seeing the people. But it's been really nice there. Two years. Yeah, exactly. She's been all over the place. She's worked a multitude of different jobs since she's been there. Oh, I want to kill this thing. Put two more charges on her. Get him out. Move these. They're all dead now. So we'll also put out... I guess we'll put out one of these. There we go. Another one dead. We'll put out an Ike now. It's, it's got to get him up eventually. Yeah, because it's real work. Well, and it's also really nice. It's nice at the Republic. It really is. It's, um, it's a pleasure to be there. So, I I mean, who knows where she at? She's at though, unless she's changing career. I mean, I don't know. What what? I mean, I would I'm curious to know what the letter said. I just want the best for her, obviously. Put my Ike out now. God bless it. I bless it. So he's got to pass eventually. Death awaits us all. Anytime anyone comes out into the I battlefield, it's pretty much sick. dead.
do I have left here? Move that and both of them into it. Bigger they are, easier they are to touch. I'll just move one of my own guys just to get just to boost our unit. Kill another one. Gotta give up eventually. I just feel like it's out of nowhere for me with her. Cause like, she seemed happy, as far as I know, there. Especially the fact, you know, you know, that you were letting a lot of, you were very lenient at the kitchen letting them hang out and stuff. Maybe, you know, with, with that, you you told them not to, but it wasn't like you took anything away that... It's like it wasn't a normal thing, especially because if, if any of those kids got hurt in that kitchen, you know? It's a big deal. It's not like a normal thing to be able to hang out at someone's job like that in the kitchen. <laughs> if you're not working. I don't know, that sucks. Put him out now. We must trust each other. Restore another order so I can summon another two things. Can't even put any more out. This one I'm just farming for points. We'll catch them all. They resisted to the very end. Ooh. When the what do we got? Broke the elven ranks. Me was convinced their foe would retreat and regroup, but to her surprise, the Scoia'tael fought to the bitter end. She concluded there must have been something truly valuable hidden in that cave. As Me entered the next chamber, her nose caught the stink of blood, pus, and urine. Then she understood: the elves were using the cave as a field hospital. Oh, wow. Wounded fighters lay by the cavern walls. They made no attempt to defend themselves, nor to beg, nor to make peace with the gods. They merely watched the Lyrians calmly, with stark contempt. Wow. Oh, what do we get? Milady, whispered Rayla. You saw what the Scoia'tan are capable of. What they do to humans, they would have no mercy for it. Raynard, usually calm, could not hold back and cut Raylor off. What, pray, do you suggest? That we murder the wounded? The warrior responded in a whisper, slowly emphasizing her words. I suggest... This is the hardest leave, stuff. Leave me and my men. We'll take care of the rest. I don't even know what to do here. I can't do it. I mean, I'm usually such a bad, bad bitch with their, but I can't just kill them. <sighs> I don't want to lose her, though. She's like my strongest unit. Meave looked the warrior in the eyes and was terrified by what she saw. No, Rayla. We shall not touch them. <sighs> Do you understand? Rayla no. was quiet for a long moment. Finally, she nodded and left the cave. Raynard followed her with his gaze, hand on hilt. Raynard, listen to me. You are to keep a close watch on Rayla until we are at least a day's ride from this cave. If she separates from the column, if she tries to double back, I wish to hear about it. Do you understand? Raynard nodded. Despite the day's victory, they left the cave in a somber mood. I don't want to lose her. Hey, I'll be right back. What's up, Waffle? How are you, Waffle Dealer? Sorry, my brother just dropped off a Switch game for me, which I'm excited about. 
I got Mario Kart 8. Because I'm going to PAX. And I let him borrow it for his nephew, for my nephew's birthday party. So he could play with the kids. And I realized that I was hoping to be able to play the game with my friends while we were at PAX. With some other Switch games that are like local co-op and stuff. And I didn't have it. So he was, he was awesome. He just like came by. Swing by before I left for PAX to drop off Mario Kart. So now I can play it. I'm excited. That's definitely going to happen. I mean, I don't know for sure if we'll play Mario Kart. But we'll be playing, you know, local co-op Switch, that's for sure. But how are you, Waffle Dealer? Welcome in. Sorry if you missed me. That's where I was. Playing some Witcher Throne Breaker. Also throw in some links in the chat just in case anyone's hanging around. Want to know where to find us. And I am Jimmy. Happy to be here. Alright, so that was a big decision. I hope I I, I don't want to mess up. I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose my homegirl. Well, that's not what I want. Yes. I must go. We'll speak later. Yeah, I don't I don't want to end up losing her. Not wanting to mindlessly murder all of the elves. But I also even though Reynard isn't like the best card, he is important for us. And as far as the story goes, like I'm more important I'm I'm more concerned about the story. And sticking true, staying true to the character of Meeve in what I imagine decisions that she would make would be. Would she have killed all those elves? I don't know. I don't know. I hope I made the right decision. What did we get? Heal an ally and strengthen it by 10. Ooh-wee! Just boost an ally by 10. Strengthen it. Well, this ointment's way better. It's heal and strengthen. If I really want to keep someone alive, that's how I'm going to do it. Who would that be good for? You know, it would be good for, like... <clears throat> Any of those good characters that I want to make sure are still around. We'll see. May end up throwing that in there. That, if I put the Wagenberg back into the deck or something like that, I could see that happening. Oh, my morals down again? Will this erase, or will this erase it? Let's just say yes. Wait. No, I want I want her, remember? Give me my girl. There she is. Who are we facing? Oh, look. I'm facing me with all my armor and also with the broadsword. Broad oh, what cards does she have? What cards do I have? Am I playing versus me as me? Hell, now I'm just curious. This could hurt. At this point, I just want to know. What are you going to play, me? Prepare to fight if you've any honor. Is it the same deck as I have?
Watch your heads. <laughs> well, I don't want to deal with. I don't want to deal with fighting myself. Okay. Should I start laying into Ike? Nah, he'll die eventually. If I can even out that, distribute that pain there. I wonder what you're gonna do. I'm gonna play better than you. Yeah, I'm gonna play way better than you. Do not target me? I'm gonna play <laughs> my own cards. Better than myself. This is not a story mission, so I'm not really too concerned about it. Oh, you pass on me? I'll just do this. Oh, now I can't pass. I have to play a card. You dirty rascal. Okay, one first round. Oh no, now I won't have my fire, or I won't have my pitfall. Well, we can get rid of this guy. Get rid of that. Okay, so the first thing we're doing is putting her out. Oh no, now she's gonna get this fire going. The chase is on! Oh, here it goes. Give her two orders. Get some more stuff out. Oh, actually, I don't want to play both, do I? One, two, how many more orders do I have to play? Oh, I have a bunch. Wait, do I, did I use my decoy yet? Can I not play my decoy? Uh oh. I can't play my decoy. Where is my decoy? Well, I have to play a card, so we'll just we'll put him out. Oh yeah, I actually come to think of it, I don't have my decoy, I don't have my Manticore. An entirely different deck here. I'll win anyway. Ah! Oh. I guess I could put an Ike out. No reason not to. Me. 
Come on, cast something. We know you want to. Oh no, they're playing my own tactics against me. We must trust each other. Bring him down. Let's see what she brings out. Coin never stinks, no matter how rank the pouch. You. Just keep her alive. We're good. Oh no! She's doing it. Move them. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I'll have to move them three times. Four times won't help. See if she's smart enough to do what I do. Nope. Ooh, lighten my back row on fire. Her Majesty is exceptional. No, she's got some she's got some wit. Thing about slings, they hide well. Why is she just Probably just grab everyone off the back end. What else can I do here? Oh, she! Oh, no, look, she is playing smart. It's actually kind of nice to see that I'm playing intelligently. Bagot, 
Oof. Whatever, at least I'm all off. No choice but to pass. I might win. Thing about slings, they hide well. Oh. Oh. We get it. Oh my god, it's so close. We'll catch them all. Woo! I won versus myself. I was close. Alright, so where are we going? There's no way for us to go any further up there. So now we gotta go over this bridge here. We never found that treasure. I like that they're like messing with me, speaking in the in the woods. We'll go up. We'll go over the top bridge. I love that. Have... Have we not passed this way before? Scouts say no, Your Grace. They mark the trees. Elves could have erased the marks, or left new ones where we've yet to tread. Best to follow the sun. Only way not to lose your bearings. Interesting. She doesn't seem that mad at me. What's over here? Oh! Something. Your Majesty, there are ruins of Elven Temple. Cracks in the walls have revealed it holds valuable treasures, as well as monsters. We can't send our entire army to fight them, but a small detachment should manage to push through. The question is whether it's worth the risk. Gather volunteers to have them bring back as much silver as they can carry. Send Ike. What a few. Mo <laughs> what are a few monsters to him? Or I won't push my shoulders in danger for some rusty silver. Let's continue on. Yeah, send Ike. It's a free thousand gold. I don't lose anything for it. Ike knows what to do. He's our hero. I want to scout up over here. Looks like I don't need to. There's loot up here, but I don't know how to access it. Very hidden. There it goes. With some wood. Oh boy. That bridge is burned. So we know we're not going that way. Well, I guess we go 
down. Let's see where that brings us. I think we had a way through that way. It was like a bridge that we were able to repair. Ooh, our morale goes up. Melidia, our soldiers found a merchant at the bottom of the pitfall. He's in a poor state with extensive wounds and a high fever. What shall we do with him? Escort him to the nearest village and offer coin for the treatment. Yeah, I want to do that. Or escort him to the nearest village and re uh, requisition his wares as his compensation. That's messed up. Uh, I'd rather have the wood. Oh, I just think it's over. I need him. Oh, we have two. What's up, Milk Jug? Oh, good. I'm happy you've been hanging out. How's your rest going? You don't have to answer questions if you want to just still lurk and stuff. If you don't want to type. But I appreciate you being here and saying hello. I hope you're enjoying your nap and work. Attention! In light of recent events in the Mulderwood, I hereby order the following. Number one. Representatives of the Elder Races caught consorting with the Skortel shall be executed without trial, together with their families and their belongings confiscated. Number two. Representatives of the Elder Races are forbidden to leave their dwellings after dark on penalty of lashing. And number three. Taxes for representatives of the Elder Races shall be increased threefold until further noticed. Bromir County. Okay. At least we were able to get over the bridge. Some points of interest, some loots. See what's over the over there. Uh oh. Meave's path took her there to the goes. village of Eichenfurt. Unlike most settlements in the area, not a single human dwelled here. Instead, only elves and dwarves sat on its porches and stared at the passing Lyrians with clear aversion. Not a single greeting was extended to their allies in arms. Not a single peddler tried to hawk their wares. The only sound was that of snapping shutters and slamming doors. Something's amiss, Rayla said, furrowing her brow. Order a halt, my lady, and give me a moment to look around. Okay. Yeah, I'll let her look around. You have a quarter of an hour, Meave said as she dismounted. And not a moment more. The queen sat in the shade of a large pear tree. I know. Shut her eyes and listen to the chirping Don't trust her. crickets in the grass, savoring a rare moment of relaxation. But the calm did not last. Within moments, one of her scouts returned, a certain Sergeant Niedermir. Tears streamed down his weathered, scar-pocked face. No. A lady, I... come with us, please. You'll need to see this for yourself. The sergeant led her to the still smoldering remains of a mill. Her soldiers were picking things out from the ashes. When she got closer, she realized in horror they were human skulls. Oh my Some god. Larger than apples. Tell the villagers to gather by the well, the queen said in a strained voice. Or be executed. The elves and dwarves attempted no denials. They admitted Eldane and his Scoyatel had helped them round up all the humans in their village, what? march them into the mill, then set it aflame. Damn. They stole our lands. They filed our names, beat us, murdered us in bloodthirsty pogroms, shouted one of the dwarves. They had it coming to them. Got their come up on side, say. This is, this is dark. What's up, Um, How are you today? Thanks for hanging out. It's good to see you. 
Meave was no stranger to the cruelty of war, but the enormous evil she found in Iconfurt overwhelmed her. She felt a terrible weight on her chest, found it hard to draw breath, and her head spun. She felt she could hear the cries of humans being burned alive. Ma'am, whispered Reynard, you must... You must pronounce something. Or simply turn the matter over to me, Your Grace. Rayla interrupted. I know what to do. Oh boy. This is nuts. Alright, so have the non-humans escorted to the nearest city. What non-humans are we talking about? Oh. I guess the elves and dwarves. Or let Rayla punish them as she f sees fit. Escorted? About to head out. Okay, well, I mean, appreciate you stopping by and saying what's up. Lantern runs over fixing the water heater first. Have you not had hot water? That sounds terrible. I don't want to keep burning Rayla, but she's really ruthless. Oh, man, this is tough. Let Rayla punish him as she sees fit. It's like, so basically, I'm going to assume that we're just going to kill everyone. That burn the humans alive. No, screw this. Rayla, you do your thing, girl. Do as you see fit. Meave said quietly, gaze fixed on the ground. The queen snapped her reins and rode out of the village. She did not want to witness the bloody massacre of non-humans her soldiers were about to perpetrate. What she had seen at the mill already sufficed to keep her awake for many nights to come. I'm done with that crap. We just let them go in the, in the cave and come to this and then see them that they murdered all of our humans. For killing all of the humans. They literally, I mean, it's annoying, like, uh, what? You know what it is, I guess, in Maeve's thought, in my mind, was that they killed the humans just for taking the land? They didn't, it wasn't like the humans were doing much there. Still, f I think this is actually the first decision that maybe I sort of is weighing a little heavier on me, because <clears throat> like I really didn't know what to do there. Or maybe I shouldn't have killed them all, but at the same time, I'm tired of their crap. They can't just keep doing this. What was that? Meave asked Reyna. Oh no. Beside her, a scream. A man's, I think. Need to investigate. Gather a few men and we ride quickly. Oh no! Hot water for two days. Damn. That's really frustrating. It's annoying not being able to take like a nice warm shower or something like that. What was wrong with it? Well, I guess you're finding out. But they're the fixing it now. Came from a small settlement. When Meave rode up to its farmhouses, her horse reared and neighed in terror. Necrophages swarmed all around. The monsters surrounded a few Nilf guardians who were trying, with no success, to chase them off with torches. Reynard swept his gaze over the carnage and said, They cannot stave them off, and their armor is too heavy for them to flee. Save the Nilf Guardians, <clears throat> or leave the Nilf Guardians to their fate. Leaving these Nilf Guardians to their fate. Meave squinted and smiled cruelly. Soldiers, we behold a battle. On one side fight bloodthirsty, mindless beasts who live to kill, and on the other, ghouls. To my mind, they deserve one another. <laughs> Fall back. Jeez, I'm ruthless on his last two decisions. 
The queen tugged the reins <laughs> and turned her mount, ready to leave the village. When Aik stepped into her path. Tis ignoble, the knight cried. No matter the crest they bear, men they are still. And I, Aik of Dinell, shall race to their succor, even if I must pitch battle alone. No! Without awaiting the queen's response, Aik lowered his lance, spurred his mount, and charged at the beasts. Oh, we have to join Aik. We can't let him go alone. Blast it all. Meave swore, drawing her sword. We can't so let her. We can't just leave that fool to the ghouls. Follow me. To battle. Without delay, the Lyrians rushed to rescue Aik and the Nilf Guardians. Damn it, Aik. Why do you have to be so noble? I want to help these stupid Nilf Guardians. If I told you at the war's outbreak, Meave would one day stand in defense of Nilf Guardian troops, risking the lives of her own soldiers. She had given a hearty laugh, and yet, the queen had now found herself in the very situation. As she looked at the ghoul's fangs, dribbling with foul spittle, she wondered whether she had made the right decision. <laughs> Whatever her conclusion, the opportunity to retreat had already long passed. Ugh, I, I agree with what everything that the just said. <laughs> Did I make the right decision? Just let it go? Should I even walked over here? What are we dealing with? I can need to be in my hand for this. Uh, let's get rid of one of these. It's not as important. I'll get rid of one of those. Okay. Okay, I have three lovely things here. I don't have to go searching for. There's Ike. Lower your weapons. We're here to rescue you. This evil I shall trample out root and branch. Better have Ike in our opening hand. What do these do? After on on round start up here on the battlefield, after four turns on start, duel the lowest enemy. So every turn on start, summon a Necker from your deck, boost it by one, okay. And every two turns on start, consume the top unit from your graveyard. Well, we're definitely just going to kill those two Neckers, just to start. <laughs> we have to do with that. And we're going to put a Pit Trap right here. Uh, sounds good to me. Why do you help us? Cause Ike, that's why we're helping you. All cause, of, all cause of Ike. Literally, no other reason than Ike. Do I want to get my girl out? I want to get this fire down, but at the same time, I want to get another pitfall trap out. Let's get that fire going, though. Watch your head. Especially knowing that they're about to start bringing a bunch of these things out. That's true, too, because now we have the pitfall trap in the back. We can just move them all into the back. Although, they're going to be popping them off in here. One more turn of fire, then we're then we're starting to search. We're gonna start the search for the pitfall trap. What? Wait, hold on. Hold the phone. On the good side of things. The ghouls eat them, I say. Silence. The queen has made her decision. Wait, so you played the Dark Souls board game this weekend? That's a thing that you did? I'm sure your little brother played an actual game and I'm now trying to beat it once. <laughs> and he went through the worst part of the game. Are you talking about the board game or are you talking about the, the game? Are you playing the game? With your brother? I 
What, what, I know that I know Bloodborne's coming out with a board game. I didn't even know there was a Dark Souls board game. That's a thing. I'm a little upset that I didn't know about it, to be honest. Kill two, one, two. I'm gonna put her out. Get that other pitfall trap. No other way. Oh, so what are you are you talking about playing the game or um when you said that you convinced your brother to play the actual game? The actual game I'm assuming is Dark Souls, not the board game. Hey. Okay, we got that out now. Now we might as well just start this chaos here. My pain serves a purpose. Let's start our. Oh, I want to put another pitfall trap out. Just too curious what happens. It's a shortened battle, anyway. Let's surround them with pitfall traps. Now we'll put the pitfall trap in the back because these are the tough ones. Look at that. Okay, and our decoy. Oh wait, we had to put another thing out. Um, I want to make things fight. It could make things fight. Start killing a bunch of stuff. The force two units a duel. We'll put him out. Look at when you thought things were about to get dull. We're gonna start the pain. Is it was it a um kickstart game? Oh man, I have no place to move these things. I'm on fire. Anything with a four? They don't, they have 14, 12. Let's go anything with a four. Now I can start moving some stuff around. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's what we needed. So did oh, wow, did you buy it? You got it on Kickstarter, or where did you get the game? I'm gonna be asking a ton of questions now because I am a board game fiend, and I like the concept of the Souls games. Although I haven't played Dark Souls, I imagine I would absolutely love the board game. A friend of yours has it, so they must have gotten it on Kickstarter. I wonder if it's available to the everyday consumer. Like, how would I get my hands on the game if I wanted it? It has, like, a ton of miniatures, right? So I know that the, the Bloodborne game looks so freaking rad. So tell me about it. Is it, um... Is it a game that's, like, a legacy game? So, like, every time you come back to it, you pick up where you last left off and your progress... 
is done that way. Fear not. So I can we put two more gold. charges on her. Now that she has two more charges, I'll bring two more people out. I'll bring one of these guys out. So, if I move this, it's dead. But I want to move these forward. I'll move that back and just kill it. And... I can force things to duel if I wanted to, so I might end up doing that. Ever have a storm knock out one of your teeth? Alright, well, and there. I just, I gotta get another pitfall trap. That's what I've learned from this. With her abilities, just keep moving things around. I just want pitfall traps and these slingers. None of our units were even damaged. Discipline shall bring us victory. Put another charge order on her, so now she can bring out two more people. One of them is another one of these things. Kill three more. Bring out one of these guys. We'll catch them all. This is just insane. What's up, Varanon? What's going on? Hey, Necron. How's it going? I'm doing all right today. Thanks, bud. It's good seeing you. I'm learning to, like, make this deck pretty overpowered now. It's been a lot of fun. I have like some really cool builds going with my with the deck that I have. Loving it, honestly. This game I really enjoy. All right, so I'm not gonna play another one of my strays because the unworthy shall be punished. Like there's not enough units for me to do anything with. Yeah, bring stuff out so I can crush them. How are you doing today, Necron? Baronon, how's it going, bud? Oh my god, it just keeps keeps whacking. Damage all units on this row by three. Damage enemy bay one every time you consume. So I'm moving all three of those back. But the two pitfall traps that just get smoked. So now they literally have no units. Oh, it's insane. 117 to nothing. Alright. <laughs> this is insane. Are you done now? I can't even put another unit out. Can I? I can't even put the cat out. And I'll move the Manticore, sure. There we go. 126 to nothing. Alright, 
The Lyrians and the Nilfgaardians fought the monsters side by side, a united force. I want to kill the Nilfgaardians when anyway. When the last necrophage fell, the soldiers immediately returned to their respective divisions. Meave's soldiers looked at the invaders askance, uncertain what would happen next. Suddenly, one of the Nilfgaardians broke ranks and fell to his knees. Uh-oh. Your Grace, I know you have no reason to trust us, but we are not enemies. We hail from Geso, a land Nilfgaard conquered and made its province. We did not ask to fight in this war by force. We were conscripted. The soldier hefted his sword by the blade and handed it, hilt first, to the queen. We yearned for a way to desert, and we have found it. Your Grace, allow us to join your army. We long for the Empire's defeat every bit as much as you do. What? Oh boy. Do I take them? What if I can't trust them? Let the soldiers join your army or refuse to let the soldiers join. That's a tough one. Alright, so. Aerith. The game flow is each player starts with a basic equipment and a loadout of a layout of, of five rooms. Then each room will have a leveled random encounter. One room leads to a boss. And beating a room gives you souls for each players to use this as they see fit. That's sick. You level up, get new gear, then try to beat the boss. Uh, do this twice and you won. So you have a limited number of life and one player dying means everyone dies. I have to look this up. I didn't. I I knew. I only knew of the Bloodborne game. I didn't realize that Dark Souls had a game. Or maybe I had. I don't even. I just don't remember it. I don't remember seeing it. I know. I feel like I I I know what the miniatures maybe look like. So I must know that it exists. But I don't have like a, a specific memory of what it is. That sounds awesome though. It sounds like it's right up my freaking alley. And I'm very jealous that you got to play it. I have to look into seeing if I can acquire that somehow. Because I was like, a, a, if if the Kickstarter for the if the Kickstarter for the Bloodborne game wasn't so expensive, I would consider picking that one up. The Bloodborne game is just like atrocious. How expensive that game is. 